Oh, okay, my friends. Uh, so here we are rolling two dice. This is kind of fun. Um, and we are adding together the numbers that we get. All right, what sum do you think is most likely, least likely? Your, your choice on that. We're going to figure it out here in a second. Uh, let's fill in this table to decide which answers, answers are theoretically most and least likely. Actually, let's just use this table to decide all possible outcomes. <laughs> I put sums go in the light blue area that I put before you. Okay, so yeah, six. This is six because if you add two plus four, you get six. This is five because if you add four plus one, yeah, the first die is up here. Actually, give me one second. Okay, I think I like that a little bit better. You got the different colors of the different uh, the different dice. So the first die is green. The second die is kind of an orange. Um, so that way, if you roll a one on the green die and a one on the orange die, you're going to get a two overall. Ooh, font size did I use here? 16. Let's make them all 16 and bolded. Okay. Uh, let's see. If you roll a two on the green die and a one on the orange die, that's going to be a three. A three on green and a one. Hopefully you're seeing this is going to go up by one each time, isn't it? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's go to the next row. A one on the green and a two on the uh, on the um, orange is going to be a sum of three again. It's the same as a two on green and a one on uh, orange, except we reversed the colors of the... Um, of those outcomes on the individual dice. So, okay, two and two gives you a four. Uh, three and two gives you a five. Four and two gives you a six. Five and two gives you a seven. And an eight, hopefully you're seeing kind of the pattern here. One and three gives you a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five. Cool math going on here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And I somehow got off. I'm going to go back and fix that. <laughs> All right, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, what are the theater values of each of these events? Okay, so first of all, first thing I want you to note is there are 36 total outcomes when you roll a pair of dice. You just listed them all. Those are all the possible outcomes. So the theoretical probability of each of these events is going to be out of 36. So what you have to do first is go up and see how many events do each of these apply to. The theoretical probability of a sum of two, well, there's only one two. So that theoretical probability is one out of 36. How about a sum of three? Sum of three, well, how many ways can you get a three? Well, you can get a three this way or this way. And I want you to realize something, realize something, fam. Those threes are different because you rolled a two here on the green die and a one on the orange die. That's different than rolling a two on the orange die and a one on the green die. They are in two different places on the table. Those are two different outcomes. So this puppy dog is a two out of 36. For a sum of four, there are three fours. So the sum of four is chance is three out of 36. I'm not gonna bother um, uh, simplifying these down. Um, two out of 36 can be one out of 18. Three out of 36 is one out of 12. And you'll see why momentarily. Uh, five, there are, I think there are four fives. So the chance is a four out of 36. Hopefully you're seeing it. these probabilities are going up by 136 each because every time we have a different sum, and then the sum goes up by one, we pick up one more cell that can that can create that sum. A sum of seven. This is the this is the most interesting one I think in the in the batch. Six out of thirty six. If you look at the diagonals, it's the it's the long one across from the bottom left all the way to the top right. There are six ways to get a seven, and you might think that eight is going to go up again, but it doesn't. And you can see why. One, two, three, four, five, and these puppies start going back down again. Four out of thirty six. Three out of thirty six. 2 out of 36, all the way down. Whoops, I forgot to hit tab there. All the way down to boxcars, as they call it in, uh, in craps. So there actually are two least likely outcomes. A sum of 12, which is called boxcars, and a sum of 2, which is called snake eyes. That's if you're playing craps. And that's totally cool if you think about it, huh? Think about those sums and, and the different ways you can get them. The events, the 36 outcomes are all equally likely. It's just as likely as you roll a three on green and a three on orange, as if you roll a five on green and a one on orange. 
because those outcomes happen 1 36th of the time. But when you start collecting those outcomes into families called events, the, uh, the events have different likelihoods, which is why games like craps uh, exist. All right.